Help me, the markets are collapsing. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. It is Tuesday, February the 23rd, and whoa, what a, what a, what a beatdown. But believe it or not, they have already rallied back more than about 50% of what they were down. And it would be no surprise if they closed on or near their highs of the day. Uh, again, I'm not predicting it. I'm just saying that that's certainly a real possibility. Uh, the, the, there were some real key indicators this morning that, uh, showed, uh, some, some reasons why the selling may be sub, sub, subsiding for now, which would be the VIX was not rallying hard. It was up a couple of points, which was nothing. The bond market was not exploding. And those are signs saying that there's no panic. So this initial selling was done quickly and hard, and it looked like it were going to collapse. And yet the markets paused and have come back dramatically at the moment. Now, it doesn't mean that we won't go down and get creamed today. But when, when some of the key indicators you watch in markets in general to get a feel for what the street is seeing, are those the VIX and the bonds and the dollar, and none of those were running higher, which would say no panic, probably a move or at least a, some recovery, which we are seeing, and we'll see where it ends up. But it would, it would be no surprise to see as dramatic as a move in reverse that we just saw on the way down. Okay, so we'll see. It's going to be. One of those days that will play out and, and by the end. But again, remember, be prepared, not surprised. In the meantime, obviously, we are still long and it's very, very painful today. OK, and we were very close to a, a NASDAQ trigger, which obviously, if, we're, if we stay down at all today, the NASDAQ will probably trigger a short tomorrow. But we are still long. And OK, hey, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. It doesn't matter. OK, and of course. The metals, gold is struggling as we thought it would to get through up to even through 1320 and is still hovering uh, back is down at the moment about 10 bucks. OK, and, and again, it doesn't mean that, it, that it's going lower. OK, it doesn't mean that, that it, it cannot reverse from here. But what it means is that it's not very strong at the moment. It still looks weak. And we're still short uh, and we'll still sell at 1820. Uh, silver is, you know, a little bit lower, but looks really good, especially after yesterday's breakout and platinum is lower, but really just churning within consolidation at much higher levels. Looks like it wants to work its way higher and we're still long platinum. Uh, crude has been flying all over the place. Last I checked, it was a little bit higher on the day. It's been down big. It's been up and I have no idea, but again, uh, crude, we're still long and crude is still obviously trying to move higher. Bonds and notes, which again was an ind- a key, another key indicator, are both under pressure once again, which is, first of all, it's counter to everything that's going on, okay? And the no inflation, all the BS from the Fed, okay? The, 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 the no panic, okay? So why are the bonds still crumbling, okay? So anyways, they are both down the notes of the bonds. Uh, copper, oh my God, stop the presses. It's down about... 17.17. 17. Uh, <laughs> so just a little bit of a pullback, nothing to even think about. Uh, net gas is uh, around the flat line. And, you know, at the, at the end of the day, we, 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 we just watch. The dollar, of course, is, is now lower, as we said. Uh, and it could be on either side. Again, we're way too early to make any final calls, but anything can still happen from where we are right now. And in the grain markets, my goodness gracious, soybeans are exploding up 30 some cents. Corn's up, wheat's a little bit lower, but the grain markets look phenomenal and look like they are going to continue to charge ahead. And uh, as they say, full speed ahead. There's no reason to believe they're not. And of course, the meats, the proteins, uh, cattle is lower a little bit, about a buck. 
Uh, hogs are up about a buck. So again, we're long there, but they look very good as well. And we expect to see the same action in the in the meats that we saw in grains earlier on the explosions higher. Uh, when you get to the uh, softs, okay, uh, cotton is a shade lower, which based on how much has gone up is virtually nothing, but we're still long. OJ is a little bit lower. We're short. Uh, coffee is a little bit higher. We're long. Uh, sugar is a, sh- a little bit down. We're long. And cocoa was a little lower, and we are short. So overall, it's a, a mixed picture from a lot of the perspective. Obviously, the indexes are getting crumbled. But, you know, again, by the time you get those updates, they could be much higher or much lower than they are right now. In the meantime, have a, a great day. And uh, remember, our brokerage partners, we've got two. Now, we have other brokers. Okay, I've, got, I've, got, I've got multiple, multiple brokers of both futures and equities and options. But the ones we prefer for our stuff for futures and commodities is the CTG Group, which is, again, a terrific customer service organization. Uh, they take care of our, our members. They are the only ones authorized for a lot of direction trading. And they've got some terrific managed futures products. You can certainly reach out to them direct. Go to the uh, Capital Trading Group in Chicago, uh, their website. You can email me and I'll send you a special link for them. Or in our, in our equities and options broker is Tradier, which, again, it's $10 a month. You can't beat that. Uh, we are all, we, if you choose, and again, it's your choice, uh, you can be fully automated through Tradier. Though we have their APIs. But, you know, again, you get, to, you get the choice of if you want to have your portfolio totally traded for you. Based on our algorithms, you can, and uh, they've got great customer service. So that's Tradier, and of course our commodity report, written by Andy Hecht, and there's nothing better than that. And now Andy's also writing not only for Seeking Alpha but for Bar Chart. Okay, so you can catch his stuff all over the place, and he is one of the top writers and and and, and gets the number of posts from both places. Plus the fact that he's also a was a worldwide commodity trader. So check them out. It's called Tech Mental at BubbaTrading.com. And, of course, our, our new par- partnership with Family Farms. You know, what great people. And hopefully, you know, ag- it's good. I'm happy all the, the ag stuff is doing well because that makes them feel better. But we want to be able to get out and share with the, our farmer friends and producers how to protect what they're making now and in the future to how to protect from the downside. And, of course, we all have the same goal is to help them live better and, and make more. And of course, our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Day update. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you.